You're watching News of the World. I'm your host, Marina Kufa, and I'm here with the Hollywood legend, Patrick Kilpatrick. And you coming out with the new movie. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, I'm, I'm fortunately, I'm directing and producing something I wrote uh, on assignment uh, called Dying for Living. We're about halfway through production. Uh, and we just cast Nina Bergman, uh, who's a wonderful action beauty. Uh, and we're just kind of casting somebody to play my brother for three days right now. Uh, but uh, we've got eight more days to shoot. Wonderful. And the Grammy time is approaching. Um, are you ready? And who are your nominees? Who do you vote on? You know, I listen to almost everything. But I don't pay attention too much, even though I wrote for Rolling Stone a long time ago. I don't pay attention to the to the names that much until something really strikes my chord. So I have to check out who's who's been nominated. Um, Back in the days, Abba, our beautiful Abba, yes. <laughs> well, for I was Jimi Hendrix's bodyguard, so Abba for me was a little bubblegum. Yeah. But they were very, very popular, and I understand their power, but. I was very fortunate when I got out of university to be a bodyguard for mm -hmm. Hendrix and the Beach Boys and Procol Harum and Grateful Dead and Rod Stewart, Jeff Beck, who just passed away. After that, I didn't pay much attention to music, but uh, the truth is I, I love all of it. Mostly, I'm, I'm connected to soundtracks. You know, because of the movies, yes. Of the movies, yeah. And soundtrack plays a, such a huge role in the movies. It does. You can really kind of take mediocre footage, and if you've got emotional, powerful music, you can really elevate it. Uh, your listeners should pay attention to a guy who unfortunately passed away named James Horner, who's one of the... I mean, you know, like we think of Beethoven and Bach as being really, really talented. This guy was involved in every movie, either as a composer or conductor, uh, a creator of some kind for the last uh, 30 years. Just an amazing talent, amazing James talent. Horner. Yeah. yeah. If you just go on Pandora mm -hmm. or something like that and go, James Horner Radio, I mean, Saving Private Ryan, Inception, yeah, everything. I so uh, I pay a lot of attention to that. Now, if you can tell me, what is the secret to be successful? as you are for so long in this industry. It's not an easy industry. It's movies especially. It's very challenging, yeah. um, you know, projects. Uh, what is the secret to it? Well, I think one of the secrets is, is to be versatile. And um, so as a writer, a director, a producer, an actor who did his own stunts, who did a lot of dialects, you're always looking for new talents that allow you to be in consideration for different jobs. So when I've mentored young actors, uh, I t I, we put a lot of time on teaching them how to write, how to produce, how to direct, because that gives you an economic sanctuary and a psychological sanctuary, because you're always doing something. Also, have your own creative life, and don't take it too personally if you get rejected, because it happens to everybody. Uh, and kind of know when you've got to step away and work on your own creative projects as well. Um, I think that diversity of talents is really the, the way to go. And the passion, right? The passion's got to be there. Yeah, well, you definitely shouldn't be working if you're not passionate right. in something. Don't you do it for the money. <laughs> find something that you're... Well, I've done things for money. The check helps with the passion, but... <clears throat> make sure that you're doing something that you really, really like doing because it's going to get challenging sooner or later as well as having some wonderful high points. Um, somebody once said, uh, you know a real actor when they stop working because what happens then is the real test of things. So uh, It's a multidisciplined occupation. Writing, directing, producing, uh, um, acting all together and to some extent teaching you know so, right. yeah. well thank you so much for I, your time I you really enjoyed much. the interview uh, good luck on uh, shopping <laughs> around <laughs> they're so busy today a lot of great vendors with great products and I hope to see you on the Grammys and Oscars thank you very much thank you.